In this video, I'm going to show you how to set a label and a submenu. I'm not using a build. I'm just using the Aeon Knox Silvo Skin. I just threw some backgrounds on here and added a few add-ons for the purpose of this video. I'm not used to doing Kodi on my computer. So I'm going to try to make this as quick and as painless as possible. So just bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right in. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Skin Settings. And depending on what skin you're using, it may look different than mine, but the process will still be the same. I'm going to go to set up the main menu. I'm having an issue right here. When I have it on full screen, these little hickeys want to act up. so. I'm going to have to do the video this way so I can keep up with what I'm doing. It don't really matter where you start, but depending on the order you want this to show up, you can always come back and rearrange it later. I'm just going to start here at the top. I'm going to click the plus. Make sure I have none highlighted. This is going to be where I create a new label. I'm going to go over here to choose item for menu. Click that. Now I have about three add-ons already installed. One of them I'm just going to call the dogs. I'm sure everybody knows which one that is. We're going to start with that one. Now I can stop right here or I could go farther and set that label just to link up to a certain section in the add-on. But to start, we'll just go ahead and create menu item to here. I'm going to jump over here and rename it so the name will be shorter and it won't take up so much space. So I'm just going to shorten this and, whoops, I'm just going to shorten this and call it um, Dogs. So we're just going to name it Dogs. Now let's back out and go see if we have our first label created. And here it is. Okay, so far we have created a label. Now I'm going to go back, Skin Settings, set up the main menu and I'm going to create a sub menu for this add-on. So I choose my add-on, make sure it's highlighted, go over to manage sub menu, choose item for menu, Add-on, video add-on, here we have the dogs. So I'm going to click that. Now I'm going to choose a section for one of my sub-menus. We will just start with Catch Up TV. So I click that.
and click Create Menu Item to here. Now we go back and see if we have our submenu created. So there it is, Catch Up TV. I'm going to click it and it should take us straight into that section. You are in Catch Up TV. So we have our first submenu created. Okay, we have set a label. We have set a submenu. Now let's go back and set another submenu. Set up main menu. Choose my label. Manage submenu. We already have Catch Up TV. I'm going to click the plus sign, the plus icon. And this time, I'm going to click Choose Item for Menu. And this time, we're going to choose another section Video Add on. The dog's bullets. Oops, I said I'm just going to call it the dogs. So, dogs. And this time, let's just choose documentary. You can make as many as it will allow, but you can make a few three, four, five. I'm just going to go with a couple just to show you how this works and then create menu item to here. Okay, so now we should have two sub menus. Let's go back and see. Let it build. Okay. Catch up TV and documentary. I'm going to click into documentary and it should open now. You are in documentaries. So we were successful. There's two sub menus and one label. Now we don't have a background. So let's go back, oops, let's go back and get a background. Main menu, set up the main menu, choose my label, make sure it's highlighted, and select background. Now when you're adding backgrounds, there's a few different ways that you can get your backgrounds. You can go to your browser and do a search for 1920 by 1080 wallpaper. That would be what you want to search for. That would be the better images to use. And if you have a specific image that you're looking for or a specific theme that you want to use, you can just add that in your search. You can make a folder, choose some photos, put them in your folder, save them somewhere on your computer. Remember where you saved them. And there's a couple of ways you can do it. Like I said, if you do it that way, I'll back out. I'm not going to I'm not going to go through the whole process, but let me go show you how to Let me try to show you real quick how to add a background. 
you would go to your file manager just like you're going to add a source file manager then you would click on add source and usually you're going to type in whatever repository here and enter a name here to add your folder of images you would go right here to browse if you're on your PC you can do it this way click into your C drive the way I find mine from here I go to users but I'm not going to click that open because I've got you know my name there and and some things so I'm just giving you an example of the process but when you get ready to add yours just click browse go into your C drive or wherever you saved them just remember remember where you did save them go into your C drive or wherever it was whatever shows up here for you and you know that's the path you need to take then then do that I saved mine on my C drive and then I go under users and I'll see you'll either see your desktop or your name you'll recognize something and it'll take you to the path where your photos were saved when you click them just like you would adding a source you just click it and after you click it it's gonna add them it's gonna add them and then you click OK you don't have to go through the rest of install from zip repository and all that stuff you just browse find your folder of images and click OK then when you get ready to add your images for backgrounds you can see here's my folder and that's the process I used I clicked browse I found my folder and clicked OK it automatically added my folder so that's one way you can get your backgrounds now another way I'm gonna go back to where I was whoops I hate Cody on a computer but another way you can do it do your search for 1920 by 1080 and if you find a picture you like that you want to use you just download that picture you can download it it will save it in downloads and when you get ready to add the picture it will show up um, under download I have all mine in folders in a folder so that's why mine are all showing under images Cody images I had them in a folder and I added them in as a source instead of one by instead of downloading them one by one so anyway we're looking for a background for dogs so I'm gonna highlight my add-on I'm going to try to highlight my add-on select background single images then when I open my folder I have just random images in here here is one we can use so I choose an image for the background now let's go back and let me see what damage I did <laughs> okay so that's not too bad so now we have a background for the dogs add-on okay so now we've added a background we have our label set we have two sub menus set now there's a couple of other add-ons and another way to do what I just did so I'm gonna go back skin settings set up the main menu 
Okay, now I'm going to add another label. I have two IPTV services installed. So you can either set a label for each individual one, or you could just set a label for like my IPTV and make a submenu, make two submenus, one in each submenu. You could do it that way, or you could make a label for each individual service. Okay, so now we're going to add another label. Skin settings, set up the Aeon Knox main menu, choose my little plus to add my label, highlight it, choose item for menu. Now this time I'm going to show you a different way to do it. The last time we went through add-on, video add-on, then we chose the add-on we wanted. I went ahead and put three add-ons in favorites. So this time I'm going to choose my add-on simply by going to favorites and I'm just going to choose Vader Streams. Now I should have a label set for Vader Streams. Here it is. We need to shorten the name and we need to change the color. So we'll go back and we'll do that. Skin settings, set up main menu, choose our add-on. Okay, I'm going to shorten this name to Vader's. I'm just going to clear all this out. I'm going to clear all that out and just name it Vader's. Click done. And I hope that changed the color. If it didn't, then we'll come back and fix it. Okay, it worked. Okay, so now we have our label made for Vader. I'm just going to go back and add a background. Highlight the add-on. Select background single image, Cody images, and oh, I don't know, um, how about let's just go with this one. Let's just go with that one. So let's go back and see if we have a non-matching background. <laughs> okay, over to Vader's. Okay, so at least we have a background. Okay, so now we have another label and another background. So now let's make one more label. We're going to choose an add-on, video add-on, and Eternal TV. Create menu to here. Then let's go back and see if we have another label. Okay, we do. Now let's go back and give Eternal TV a background. Same process. Select background. Single image. So let's just choose a background, just anything. I'll click this one. Let's go back and see if we have a background. 
for eternal and there we go okay now let's set a submenu for eternal TV let me highlight my add-on manage submenu choose item for menu add-on video add-on eternal TV this time I'm gonna make a submenu and I'm gonna make it just the video on demand create menu item to here then let's go back and see what we have so here's eternal and here is our video on demand section it should take us straight to that section and there we go so now we've created labels submenus and backgrounds let's say you want a widget so let's go back to skin settings set up the main menu choose our add-on which is dogs let's go to select widget 1 Then we want add-on, video add-on, and the dogs. The dogs. I like that. The dogs. D-A-W-G-S. Go dogs. Okay. So now we're going to choose use as widget I'm going to leave this named the same okay now we are going to set up the widget the widget style and you can set this up or tweak this the way you want it I'm just showing you the way I would do it so widget style I choose panel extended art square poster case I choose glass widget background I just leave that default the panel label style that one is up to you too you can try these different options and see what suits you I just leave it none panel widget info we want to enable that so enabled hide widgets when not focused we want to turn that on disable widget fan art we leave that off and we leave the last two at default so let's go back and see if we have a widget where is the dogs okay when you click up you have your widget all your categories favorites movies and catch-up TV search people watching new cams releases new movie releases etc documentary section kids section movies music radio sport TV entertainment 
and you have your widget. The way I did it, the widget will not show up unless you click up. And then that will bring up your widget. Okay? So, I think that's about all I have this time. Oh, and one more thing. Depending on the order you want these in, you can go back to um, the settings, skin settings, set up the main menu, and you can move these into any order you want them. You use your up, down, this moves it up, this moves it down. The plus is to add another label, and the X is to get rid of it and delete it altogether. That'll get rid of everything. Okay? So let's go back and see if I have finally been successful in finishing this video. Because I have had a hard time getting this one together but that's my little shake on how to set a label there's a lot of little tweaks that you can do not that the creators don't do a fantastic the developers creators they all do fantastic great work and I know I appreciate all of them and I do love the dogs add-on um, anybody that loved Pyramid, then there you go. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.